Breathtaking, isn't it? This, guys, is the sanctuary of truth in Pattaya, Thailand. This impressive structure is many things. A symbol of Hindu and Buddhist beliefs. A culture-preserving museum. And a haven of peace and magnificent views. When we first arrived, we went to the ticket agent area to show our online purchase. Each entry ticket was 500 baht for each person, totaling 1000 baht for the two of us. We had to wait a short bit for transport from the ticket area to the sanctuary, so we explored the pickup waiting area a bit. Oh, there's fish over here. A rooster. A peacock. Wow, amazing! <laughs> Nice decoration with the flowers here. Hi. Oh my god, so cute boy. Okay. <laughs> you can do it, babe. Good job. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Hello, guys. <laughs> Can you help me? <laughs> yeah, slowly. <laughs> slowly, baby. Last one? Okay. Thank you. Tapunka. Oh. So, we are heading now to the Sanctuary of Truth. Yes. Let's go. Let's go, guys. After a short ride, we found ourselves at another waiting area. Details about the museum and safety instructions can be heard through a loudspeaker as we got closer. This area is called the Lookout. I think you can see why. You get a castle in the sky view of the sanctuary from here. Isn't that gorgeous? A wonderful architecture. Incredible. We're gonna get some refreshments first. Okay, what are you gonna drink, baby? I would like a lemon with a lot of ice. Lemon. <laughs> yes. For me, I'll go for uh, watermelon. Perfect. Okay. Uh, please, uh, fresh juice, watermelon. Yes, and one lemon. And please, with ice. Okay. You have lemon with ice, baby. Thank you. They're making your watermelon now. I can't wait for my juice. Thank you. My watermelon, fresh juice. Yummy. So I just got this hat. What do you think, guys? It's very nice. You look very handsome. It's like reading in Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> oh, you want some carrots? As you can see here, they also had a little mini petting zoo area where you can pet animals and feed them if you would like to. We didn't have much time, unfortunately. So there is a modest dress code for the Sanctuary of Truth. So Salah had to wear some below the knee, traditional looking type of shorts. Okay, thank you. What I'm wearing? <laughs> for modesty. Thank you. Thank you. Capcom <laughs> car. <laughs> Don't mind me, just dying of heat as usual. So as we arrived at the sanctuary, they handed out these hard hat helmets. For us to put on and we will explain that once we get into the museum here. This structure is even more impressive 
up close than at the lookout. It's truly, truly breathtaking. Now, when we arrived, I think the staff assumed I would want to use the lift. I did appreciate it as the staff was so friendly and came with me, but Salah was told to use the stairs. LOL. Hi, baby. This is just incredible, really. All constructed out of wood. Hello, guys. <laughs> so basically, guys, we are wearing this helmet because this museum is still under construction since 1981. The construction for the Sanctuary of Truth started in 1981. It was designed by Thai businessman Lake Viryapan. Its architectural style is that of the Ayutthaya Kingdom. Adorning the inner and outer walls of the museum are various sculptures derived from Buddhist and Hindu beliefs. The idea here is to visually portray important Eastern religious concepts and the cycle of life. This place is meant to symbolize peace and inspiration for humanity. Are we cute? Yes. As we are firm believers of Islam, we do not come here to learn about the philosophies or theistic beliefs of Hinduism or Buddhism, more just to admire the peacefulness and the architecture of the building. This wooden castle is constructed in traditional Thai carpentry style and is made of Takian Thong, Pradu, Dang, Tang, and gold teak wood. Even the nails used to hold the wood together are not made from metal. As I mentioned previously, Salah and I are devout Muslims in our belief in God, so we will not be discussing a lot of the philosophy and theistic beliefs or going into detail um, regarding that. In a nutshell, and this is being very brief, the interior is divided into four halls, the northern, southern, eastern, and western halls, and each of them are represented by a different deity and philosophy. It seems that no matter what religion or spiritual belief you follow, they all have very similar values when it comes to human comportment and ethics and things like that. Very interesting. How are the shorts, babe? Actually, it's too wide and comfortable for me. So impressive, beautiful. I'm in awe of the beauty. Wow, it's all made by wood. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, impressive. <laughs> no matter what religion or walk of life you come from, the impressive woodwork will amaze you. I wonder how much time and efforts it took them to uh, sculpt all this wooden arts. Amazing. Thailand is hot. I know, so that's why you are using the fan always. <laughs> <laughs> I love this thing. I don't blame you. It's really humid and hot. You can see here the details of the nails. Brilliant. Here, just like at the Big Buddha Temple, we see the snakes lining the some of the walkways here.
place is definitely something to experience. The feel and the atmosphere is just so ethereal. Damn, you are so beautiful, baby. Mm, thanks, Dave. <laughs> And as we exit the structure, we are greeted by more impressive wooden statues. It's like a gorgeous castle. All right, guys, thank you for coming with us to the Sanctuary of Truth in Pattaya, Thailand. It's been an amazing afternoon. This place is phenomenal, breathtaking. You have to come here in Pattaya, Thailand to the Sanctuary of Truth. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one, guys. Bye. Goodbye.